All right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jenningham here. New subscribers, old subscribers, people to the channel. Uh, lots of people are excited for this new update tomorrow, GTA 5. It's a bit like uh, Fast and Furious. It's a bit like Need for Speed. It's a bit like, um, what other game could you call it? Burnout Paradise. I mean, that's a different type of game anyway. It's on PS3. But anyway, the new DLC is out tomorrow, the 20th of July, on the PS4, Xbox One, PC. So yeah, lots of people are hyped. There's going to be new missions on here as well for the car meets. There's going to be all sorts of new tattoos. There's going to be all sorts of, um, I don't know, uh, new vehicles to buy. You, each time you do the missions and proceed in there, will there be new clothes in there as well? Who knows? There's going to be a property to buy, I hope so. Is there just going to be one car meet place in one location you can only buy? Or will there be multiple car meet places you can purchase in different locations? Why couldn't you have done it like that? Instead of just one area to buy in, pull out multiple areas. Will it work like that as well? Who knows? I've done a video on YouTube about it. This is probably going to be just another short video. Lots of people are going to be grinding and making the money to afford the DLC tomorrow because I reckon it's going to be very expensive. Like it always is with Rockstar's DLCs and new vehicles and add-ons and stuff. Be nice to see a map expansion of North Yankton, but I don't think that's going to happen either. But anyway, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, just another quick update. Short video. Uh, should be a long one next time. Thank you for joining me, and uh, yeah, see you next video. Peace. And don't forget to die new now. You know the fire. You can make kind of way there. Thank you for joining me, peace. That is, it's not that nice.